Okay, this is going to be a raw review, just a little overview of pretty much what went down tonight. At a decent raw, it was better than the last couple weeks, more focused on the storylines at hand. You had major progression in uh, two of the three, uh, being um, Sheamus and Del Rio, and then you had Punk and Daniel Bryan, which I think is the biggest storyline progression. really puts a twist on things that makes you wonder what's going to happen next week. And if you get that out of the storyline, you have achieved a goal for your weekly television program. But other than that, it was uh, it was better than the past two weeks. Um, Raw pretty much opened up with Laurinaitis and uh, Cole and Cena setting up for the main event. You kind of knew it was going to be Cole as uh, Laurinaitis said you can be anybody. And um, as the night went on, you uh, the only one thing I did want to mention is the gripe I had with Raw is pretty much being the same matches you saw on SmackDown this past Friday being a two-on-one handicap match with Ryback. Um, you had the CM Punk versus Kane, and then you also had Sheamus versus Ziggler. Three of those matches were on last week's SmackDown, and you kind of have them on Raw. Doesn't really make much sense, because you're pretty much doing two shows just back to back. Other than that, uh, it was okay. Matches were good, especially the Ziggler and Sheamus. And um, the main event, <laughs> They brought Tenzai back. He seemed very, uh, very eager to get back in the ring as he shoved Sakamoto out of the way while making his way down the aisle. And he lost to Cena, as much people expected. And um, then in came Cole, and that's when the entertainment really began. Cena had about a good 10 minutes of just toying with, to uh, toying with Cole and uh, just really entertaining the ending to Raw, just to send everyone home happy, Cena being back after a week absence. A uh, good way to bring him back, you know, have the crowd back on his side. It seems like a lot more people are now pro Cena rather than anti booing, uh, which is surprising since, like, I don't know, it seems like after WrestleMania, everyone's been kind of on Cena's side rather than booing the hell out of him every single week. But uh, other than that, that's about really it. Cena, Cole had a funny, had their own funny moments. Uh, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, and Kane had their own major storyline twist. Uh, Sheamus and Del Rio had their uh, little bit where Sheamus' arm's going to be injured, so it's going to be like, oh, Del Rio's going to take advantage of the arm, give Sheamus a little uh, disadvantage. And Vince McMahon's going to be back next week. As it's a three-hour Raw, <laughs> I think they're going to really try pushing for the first hour of Raw to really bring in a lot of viewers as uh, history shows that no one watches the first hour. And I think Vince McMahon, he's always been one of those rating guys who bring in new, a mass amount of people. So bringing in Vince could be a good thing, but I'm not going to watch because I'll be here. Won't be able to watch until 9, like usual. But Vince McMahon next week, you know, he's going to... I'm sure him and Laurinaitis are going to have a little old, good old conversation. Something big will go down. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. Well, we'll see what happens next week. But other than that, this Raw had a 10. I'd give it a good, like, 6 out of 10. But compared to last week and the week before, which are averaging around 4 to 5, uh, well, I can't complain. Just your average old raw. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.